My baseball career was at an all-time low. Baseball just was like not on my side. Had multiple conversations of where, like, I'm done with baseball. Like, it's not me. It's not gonna work out. I can go two ways about this. I can keep working, or I can give up. So I just kept working. My name is Bradley Gonzalez. I play for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and this is my story. Uh, coming out of high school, I signed to a junior college in Phoenix, Arizona. Ultimately ended up throwing 22 innings. Um, I felt like I had more in the tank and wanted, you know, what I sought out to be like a better opportunity for myself. Signed to a Division I college out in Dallas, Texas, and then there's when it kind of got rough for me. Kind of felt like down because my baseball career was at an all-time low. I was gonna play two weeks before, four weeks before season. Uh, I ended up having a grade two tear in my patellar tendon. Uh, then ultimately, baseball just was like not on my side. I left my senior year with 12 credits short of a degree. Packed my car up, was out here by May 7th, made a 36 hour drive to come to Kent, Washington to one of the best training facilities I possibly could have came in. I knew you guys had the capabilities of developing guys from biomechanics, from edutronics, from Rapsodos, from everything. And I knew if I wanted to be the best I possibly could be to play professional baseball, I needed to go somewhere where I could get everything in, in one, one little spot. You know, like I, I've been preparing, right? I've been preparing for nine months for one day. I had just been pushing myself to the limits, right? And that morning I distinctly like remember waking up and looking at my phone and it just, it just shocked me. It's January 12th, today's the day I have to perform. Um, but it's when I got over here into this building, into the research lab, is when I started to flip the switch. Adrenaline started to spike a little bit. Um, I started to hone it in, lock it in. Uh, and I knew I was a little bit in trouble. So I think, you know, for nine months preparing, put a little pressure on myself. I sat back and not hitting what I wanted to hit in this gym, in, in the research gym. And, you know, thoughts start to creep in a little bit. I remember opening that door, walking into the gym and seeing everyone. And when I saw everyone, I relaxed again. I kind of got back to myself and then I just threw. Threw on pro day, let it all hang out, and next day I caught a flight to Cancun for vacation. And I had my phone by me. I remember just laying out, hanging out, and I get the phone call. I run away from everyone, plug in my headphones, and I answer the call that I've waited pretty much all my career to hear is they want to make me a Los Angeles Dodger. And at that point, like, emotions just got the best of me.
For sure, drywall's not for everyone. I'll tell you that right now. If you're not willing to work hard, if you're not willing to show up every day, Monday through Saturday, and get after it, and understand your programming, and understand what you need, and not compare yourself to other people, like, that's what you gotta do here. And when you start to like think that way, like, you start to develop a atmosphere with like the training staff. Like there's plenty of guys, a handful, of my, like there's two handfuls of people that like have poured into me here at Driveline that like I'm forever in debt for just because they've helped me get to where I am right now. There's something to be said about willing to bet on yourself and not knowing the outcome. I was willing to hang up my cleats if I didn't get a call. I exhausted every resource. I went to two junior colleges, a Division I and NAI. And I think once you understand what you want and what you're willing to sacrifice, I think then you're ultimately gonna find your goal. I thought the last resort was for me was driveline.